short video explains a change in the Advanced Financial Management exam, which will take effect from September 2022. It will no longer be required for the full calculations from the Black-Scholes option pricing model to be performed manually. Instead, in a question where the calculations are required, an additional answer option called BSOP Calculator will be provided. The main reason behind the change is to better reflect a workplace, where you would be unlikely to need to build these calculations entirely from scratch. It is also recognised that doing these calculations in a spreadsheet under exam pressure is quite difficult, so the decision has been made to provide this calculator. As you can see, most of this spreadsheet is locked and you are not able to enter any information into the cells. The only cells which are not locked are these cells for the input variables. These are the cells in which you will enter values for the variables using information from the scenario. The inputs for the asset value and the exercise price can be entered as full values in thousands or millions. This may depend on personal preference or how the information is presented in the question. Here, I will input the figures from this question in millions. The risk-free rate should be entered as a decimal. The time period should be in years and the volatility figure as a decimal. The six output values given are consistent with what can be seen in online Black Shoals option pricing model calculators. But to fully address the requirement, you will want to know the figure in row 9 or 10. The values for both a call option and a put option are given. Based on your understanding of the question scenario, you should identify whether the option being considered is a call or a put option. It may be a good idea to do this in the word processing answer space. If relevant to the question, as in this example, it is also a good idea to use the word processing answer space to explain where the asset value figure has come from. The BSOP calculator answer space will be sent for marking, so you do not need to copy the outputs into any other answer space. Although it will remain possible for you to do the full Black-Scholes calculations in the other spreadsheet answer space, please do not do this, as it will use up valuable time and there won't be any marks available for the calculations. Marks will only be available for correctly identifying the input variables and for recognising which of the call and put values is relevant for the situation. The SOP calculator will only be provided in questions where it will be needed not in every question. So if the calculator is provided to you in the exam, you will know that it should be used. So if you are taking an advanced financial management exam in or after the September 2022 session, please ensure that you are familiar with the BSOP calculator and how you should use it in the exam.